everyone, in this video we're going to be demonstrating the new ballistics in the Combat Extreme 2.0, as well as the ballistics interactions with characters. We've added real bullet drop to uh, the bullets in the game. So as you see here, uh, as we shoot, there's a latency between the time that the bullet was shot and when it impacts a surface out there. And that is influenced by gravitational and um, individual bullet settings, such as the velocity and caliber of the actual bullet being fired. So if we shoot through these many different surfaces, you'll see that the sniper Barrett 50 cal goes through almost every surface that we have lined up here because of the uh, weapon settings that we have on it, so the velocity and the caliber, whereas a light machine gun shooting it only goes through about half of them. Alright, in this video we've turned the ballistic visuals on so you could see the the drop in the bullet. So as we shoot it creates a line. Now there's three colors. Um, red is before there's any change in its direction. Yellow is a slight change and then green is the full drop. Again, you can see that the bullet for this particular weapon travels through all surfaces. However, if we put a larger server surface in front of it, you can see that it starts to drop midway. The closer you are to the ground, the quicker that it's going to um, affect the actual drop distance versus standing up and having it drop. For in this video, we're going to show uh, the bullet visuals with a light machine gun. Here you'll actually see the bullet drop in action, damaging another player. That was a little too high. That one was just a little too high and it dropped and basically went through the character's heart. Alright, now we're going to show you the ballistics and interacting with the characters. On this character, he happens to have a riot shield equipped. So the ballistics won't go through this particular object, so the character is safe from any type of impact. Now, like other surfaces, depending on the caliber of weapon, it will penetrate through that surface based on its velocity and the caliber size. That surface is dynamic too, so it can be put on his back or held in front of him from any direction. Um, it also works under movement as well, so as he runs away from me, he's protected. Here we're going to show the damage points that the ballistics can cause. You have head, arms, legs, torso. We'll start with the head. This demonstrates our gore factor as well. Dynamic limb removal.
Okay, last but not least, uh, let's go ahead and demonstrate the character damage through all these different panes of glass. So, two shots. Went through all the different surfaces. You'll notice that some of the surfaces produce different effects, such as wood particles or blood splats. That was just for our development purposes. So here we use a light machine gun. Now that blood splatter is not actually the character being hit. That's just one of the surface types out there. But the bullets don't make it through all the surfaces, so we'll get closer. Still not making it through all the surfaces, so we'll get yet even closer. And success. Thank you for watching.